The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus proposed another parable to the crowds, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slave said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. He proposed another parable to them. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a person took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, yet when full grown, it is the largest of plants. It becomes a large bush, and the birds of the sky come and dwell in its branches. He spoke to them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch was leavened. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. He spoke to them only in parables to fulfill what had been said through the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will announce what was lain hidden from the foundation of the world. Then, dismissing the crowds, he went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the son of man. The field is the world the good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like to share with you some words uh, from a song. Uh, it's uh, called uh, uh, Little Wonders by Rob Thomas. Our lives are made in these small hours, these little wonders, these twists and turns of fate. Time falls away, but these small hours, these small hours, remain I think about these small hours and I think of uh, Ronald Rollheiser he was talking and he was talking about how uh, the small hours the small things in life matter so much I recall a friend who uh, was in fourth grade and his teacher was mean to him and all he could remember for that whole year was that his teacher was mean, mean to him. Couldn't remember all the great things that happened that year. Just the mean thing that that teacher did, that little thing that she did. 
then on the other hand, I think about um, someone who's come to our church and this one person welcomed the, uh, this new person who came to church. And all they could do every time I saw them was account, recount what happened that day and how wonderful that, what that person did for them. Just that little thing. It is those small little things that we do for each other that make a big difference in our life. We often focus on the big things, like how we can make our mark in the world, and we discount the little things in our life. Our little private lives, we say that they don't matter, that they don't count. And yet it is those little things that really grow into something. It's that mustard seed that grows into the kingdom, that little, those little mustard seeds in our life, that we do those little things that can grow into something great. We are always focused on the end, not on the little things. We uh, are all about in our society that the end justifies the means. We can do whatever it takes, lie, cheat, or steal, as long as we accomplish the end that we want to reach, that great cause or whatever it is in our life. But really, what matters in our life is the means of how we do things in our life. That's what matters in our life. That's what defines our character in our life, is those small little things, those, the meaning, uh, it is the, the means that we accomplish things. So in our life, it's about seeing those, living those small hours in our life that remain seeing those little wonders in our life. It's where we see the wonders in our life. And we can be about that, planting those little mustard seeds.